Hello, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com, and we've got part four of the Mandelbulb 3D tutorial. And this time we're talking about the lighting, which makes much more sense to me than the coloring, so that's nice. It's pretty much a standard kind of setup for 3D lighting with a few options. You have six different lights represented by these tabs up here. They can all have their own color. Um, all these settings are different for each light. Um, let's go to some grayscale. Be a little easier to see what's going on, I think. So, well, your default light is basically just one light on. This is the color of the light. So, if I make a hot pink light here, then we'll be casting pink onto that gray. This is the angle of the light along the X and Y axes. Um, as a default, this light is relative to your camera. So if I move around this fractal with this light, it's going to follow the camera and change position as I change position with the camera still with this angle relative to the camera but if I check this button then you can still change the direction the light is coming but it's now relative to the position of the object or the center of the fractal so when I move the camera the lights not going to move around it's going to stay where it's put so those are nice for casting directional light evenly across the whole object. There's also an option for positional lights which give you a lot more control over where the light is going to be and basically what I do first if you hit positional light go ahead and hit this button to set the midpoint for the light and then you click somewhere on your image where you want the light to be so let's say we want to put a light right here or we can click here and put it back inside this crevice back here. There's controls here for the amount of light, how bright the light is. And position for all three axes on the light. And don't forget these aren't going to always line up with the X, Y and depth in and out of the screen because of the rotation of the camera and the fractal. So usually just have to play around with them but what I do is just pick a spot put the light there oops I missed maybe change the brightness and then use these sliders to position it more exactly where you want to position it one thing that, help, that helps you know where the light is you can turn and make it visible make the light source visible now you can see that pink dot there and now if we move it as we move it we can see the source of the light and that helps you position it as well and those are all relative to the object as well so that light would be here on this 3D navigator I'm sure you've noticed that the colors and the lighting don't always match in the 3D navigator as what you're going to get in the final view so you just kind of have to keep that in mind while you're working on your image still not used to that navigating by clicking in the window I keep doing it accidentally and I so now if we move around this object we'll see that light has stayed in the same position relative to the fractal So now let's say we wanted to, uh, uh, to add a different, another light, but this one we want it to be a directional light. So we'll turn it on, set the color, and we're going to have it relative to the object as well.
And let's do a third light as a kind of standard, I think what they call a bounce light or a fill light, kind of on the opposite side of the first light. So you can see with six different lights, there's a lot of options for adding color gradations to your object or just enhancing the variety and the subtle shading in your scene. But I've used lights bef um, with my images, color lights, to add color in specific places where I want to, so that you can't paint you can't specifically paint a color with the normal colors. You can kind of paint some color with the lights. For instance, ah, there I go again. I clicked on the screen and move my camera. I gotta stop doing that. <clears throat> Start t clicking the title bar instead. Okay, let's put that over to me and calculate that. So let's say we wanted to move this pink light now. So we'll highlight the tab that's on it. Hit the midpoint thing. Thing. <laughs> so see here's a way that I can make all of this area pink without actually being able to control the colors directly. So it's a little creative use of these positional lights and the uh, directional global lights. You can really uh, control your colors a little better. So. There's a quick rundown of the lighting, and next time I'm going to talk about exploring the various formulas and messing with presets and trying to fine-tune the shapes along with these options over here that let you fine-tune the rendering. So I hope those tips about lighting helped. Um, talk to you next time. Bye.